Need to loosen up those neck and shoulders in a seat? Well, how about locust pose? Talk to Marcia of Move with Marcia and let's work in a seat on locust pose. Locust pose is great for actively expanding the chest, stretching the pecs, actively stretching the upper back, which can be great if you've been curled up, sitting at your desk, or maybe you got the SADS, or maybe some period cramps and you just need to open up and bring some blood flow to the shoulders and a little strengthening. Why not? So let me show you how to do that from a chair. First things first, make sure your chair is sturdy, stable, secure. All four corners are on the same spot. If you're swinging your feet in the air, find a way to plant them. Stuff some yoga blocks under there, a step stool, whatever you've got. Even a pillow if you don't mind it being on the floor for a second, who cares? Now, from here you have different options when it comes to the arm position. In general, locust pose is a back bend. So that means we are extending backwards. So you could literally put your hands on your lap, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull them down, and this could be your locus pose, looking straight ahead or looking up. Or you can take the hands and put them reaching back, maybe on the legs of the chair or the back of the chair. So you're from here, you're reaching back, you're pulling open those shoulders, trying to squeeze your elbows together. That's the idea. Or you can go with actually putting your hands on your elbows. If you can reach there, if you can't quite reach there, maybe you just get here, hands to your bottom, or hands to the wrist, or you could hug the elbows, pulling down. Alternatively, another option, you might have to scoot forward a little bit, is put your hands clasped together and actually try to squeeze for real your elbows together. And again, you could be looking straight ahead. You could be looking up if that feels good for you. Just try to find a position that is comfortable that you can hold it and breathe for a couple of breaths. Now, you can do that by itself or maybe you add a couple of shoulder circles, maybe some neck circles, and then you say, good, now I'm gonna hold locust pose for five, Four, three, two, one, boom. You brought some blood flow, you did a little stretch, a little strengthening, perfect, great work. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you've got any questions or comments about how to do locust pose, maybe you wanna do something else in a chair, maybe you have another pose that you've seen and you'd like it to be seated instead, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to get to it, okay? Bye.